Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the siphon part. Now what exactly siphon is? It is a, a bent tube and it is used to displace the water from higher altitude to lower altitude. So uh, the required condition for siphon to work is that this point C should be at a lower level as compared to the water level inside the container. There is one more condition which will uh, derive by using the Bernoulli's equation. So first of all, I'm going to use the Bernoulli's equation at point A and point C. Now, uh, if I consider this itself as a reference level, then in the equation of Bernoulli, this will be PA plus. Now that HROG will turn out to be zero because I'm considering this itself as a reference level plus half rho VA square should be equal to PC plus this is going to be half rho Vc square and this h rho g will be minus h rho g because my reference level is this. Now many a times this area is very small as compared to the area of this container and that is the reason I can neglect this velocity of point E because it is going to uh, go down with a very less velocity. So for calculation purpose right now, I'm considering this area to be very small as compared to this area and hence VA will almost be equal to zero because uh, you will have the equation of continuity that is A1 V1 equal to A2 V2. And if this area is very small, this area is very large. Naturally, the velocity at this point will be less. So uh, PA equal to PC because it is going to be the same atmosphere which is present on both the part. So this will be atmospheric pressure and hence what you get is half rho VC square equal to H rho G. Therefore, how much will be VC? This is going to be 2GH. So this is the velocity with which the liquid coming out at point C. But for that velocity to be a real number, this H should be positive and this H should be positive means there has to be the point C on a lower side as compared to this water level. So this is one required condition. Next, I'll just apply the same Bernoulli's equation at point A and point B and we'll see that uh, how the equations are going to look like. So uh, PA plus again considering this as a uh, reference level, it will be zero, H rho G will be zero plus half rho V A square and this will be equal to the pressure at point B plus H1 rho G plus half rho V B square. Now, because I'm considering it to be ideal fluid using the equation of continuity, I'll get area of this cross section into velocity of B so area into VB equal to area into VC because it is the same tube having a uniform cross section area and hence I'll get VB equal to VC. So I'll put this VB equal to VC in this equation and then what I left with is again I, I should say that this value is almost equal to zero. Why? Because this area is very large as compared to the tube area and hence what I uh, left with is PA is equal to this PB plus h1 rho g plus half rho and this vb equal to vc which is root 2gh so it will be 2gh now this pressure at b will be equal to pressure at a and then if i subtract this it will be minus of then this is uh, only h rho g is remaining so h1 plus h into rho g now this is another required condition. Now if I increase this H plus H1 means suppose if I'm having the tube something like this and now if I increase this level that is H1 plus H2 has been increased in that case naturally your pressure at B will keep on decreasing. Now what will be the minimum value of pressure at B? It is almost equal to zero and then only the siphon is going to work. So for working of siphon I'll consider this minimum value of PB to be equal to zero and hence I will get this pressure at A equal to H1 plus H into rho G. Now what will be the pressure at A? Pressure at A is P atmosphere. So I'll call that to be P naught and upon rho G this is the value of H1 plus H. So what should be the condition that your height, I'll just write here, that your H1 plus H should be less than 
P not upon rho g. So this is the another required condition. One required condition was this h should be positive, and another required condition is that h1 plus h should be less than P not by rho g. If you substitute the values here, the P not is 10 raised to 5, rho is 10 raised to 3. This is 10, so it is almost turning out to be 10 meter. So if your height h1 plus h2, h1 plus h, if it is greater than 10 then naturally this siphon is not going to work. So, uh, we have seen this how uh, mathematically, theoretically it looks like and we'll also see how practically it goes. Let us now demonstrate whatever we have learned in the theory part. Now, for the demonstration what I have done, I have taken a glass which is uh, having a water and some ink is added to see the color. Now, what I am going to do for the demonstration purpose, I am going to fill this tube with this water. Now there is one another way also for doing this that you can deep one side inside the glass tube and suck the air completely. Now whenever you are going to suck the air, uh, there will be a pressure difference which is going to get created and due to that pressure difference, due to that pressure difference obviously the liquid will come out. Now in which case you are going to use this. Now you, are, you can use this for uh, emptying some big tanks. Now in that case sucking the air is not uh, that much possible. So, what you have to do is you have to fill that tube completely and then allow that water to come out. Sometimes it may happen that nearby some farm a big canal is going and there is no electricity. So, in that case again you can take a big pipe, uh, fill in the same manner, put one side inside the canal and other in the farm and without any electricity you can get the water to your farm. So, the same thing I am going to demonstrate now. Now, what I will do is I will just deep the one part of this inside the glass and I will just hold it with this so that it does not come out. Now if you see carefully over here the water level goes in the same uh, level as that of the water inside the glass tube. If I raise it just see it goes down and it matches with the same level. If I take it down again slowly it will increase and it will come to the same level. Now, if I want to take out this water, what I will do, I will just go a little bit on the lower altitude as compared to the water level and now you can see that this particular water started coming down. Now, it is coming down with a very little speed just because of some uh, pressure which is getting applied because of this holding over here. So, I will just release some amount of pressure and this is how you are going to get it. Now, if I keep it at this place, so naturally what is going to happen? Now, the liquid which is there inside this glass will pass to this till the point the height in both the things become same. Now, if I raise its level, then obviously as compared to this level, this is at a lower side and naturally the water will go from this side to this side. Now, this will happen till the point the height in both the cases become same. Now, if I do it over here again, then the liquid will go from here till here till the point your H is positive. This is the mandatory condition and in this way, you can completely empty your tank. Now, just see the flow and you can see that yes, we can empty the complete tank. So, this can be a good exercise for emptying it as well as it's a fun for learning it. So, I'll just wait till the point it gets completely uh, getting the equal height. And I hope you have enjoyed and this is how you are going to use it for many practical purposes. So siphon is really very important. So thanks for watching.